hey people, here is another plugin for your visual pleasure. These are the mountain variations with fine lines and this has some audio reactive extras built in. Let's check it out. You already see a bit of what can be done with that plugin in the background. When you load it you will see that default scene and clicking on the presets icon you'll see that it comes with some example presets to quickly load a few different looks. Let's click through the presets to get an idea of what it could look like. And now let's dive into how we can tweak that plugin. The top section with points and lines defines in how many segments each line is divided and how many individual lines there are in total. Randomize gives a new random seed to all the randomness from that plugin. The color options can be used to choose two colors and each line will get a color interpolated between those two colors. Thickness sets how thick or thin each line is. Chaos adds a bit more randomness if you are into the messy stuff. Height defines the maximum height of the peaks. Spread Y and Move Y can be used to distribute the plugin a bit different vertically. Then we have the distribution modes where we get four options. Normal, Mirror, Mirror Reverse and Shuffled. Best click through them and you'll quickly get an idea of what each one does. Unipolar is a strange name, but it simply applies to that option of the oscillator, which drives the main movement and decides whether it only gives values from 0 to 1, or also allows negative values on the y-axis, like from minus 1 up to plus 1. The bloom gives a nice extra glow effect, but as this is a pretty heavy effect, be careful with that. If you experience performance drops, try setting that all the way down to zero, which internally bypasses that effect completely. Alternatively, you can try to raise the thickness of your lines for a nicer look without bloom. BPM Pulse lets you add some kicks on each beat, every second beat or each bar, and Pulse Height defines the intensity of each kick. The next slider is quite important if you intend to create some audio reactive visuals. This FFT or wave slider defines how much of the movement is defined by the internal oscillators of the plugin and how much by your incoming sound. You can mix and match or only use one of them. By default all the presets use the oscillators and no FFT input. The next two controls are about the oscillator. Choose if the main seed is a sine wave or a Perlin noise and frequency defines the speed. The last three options are for your audio reactivity. First, set the source to the audio source you want to listen to. Then adjust the reactivity with the gain control and define the smoothness with the fallback value. And that's it from my side. Enjoy!